I put myself in danger every day when I do this. Every day. I've had death threats. I've had people threaten my life. And I know that every time I go out there, if there's a chance something could happen. But there's a chance walking out your front door and anything could happen. I believe when it's my time, it's my time. And I believe that I'm doing God's work. This is what I was born to do. Tens of thousands of dogs are roaming, abandoned and starving in the Everglades. This is a, an area that historically has been a dumping ground. The animals are not sterilized, so all they're doing is reproducing. And they're creating packs. I mean, these are wild dogs now. I think part of it, probably a great part of it, is the economy. A lot of people have lost their homes and they have left their pets behind. They're too embarrassed to take them to the Humane Society or Animal Control. The shelter capacity cannot handle the tens of thousands that are on the street. A lot of times, slaughter farm owners will collect dogs free off Craigslist. And if anybody tries to come on the property, the dogs will start barking. So for them, it's a free security system. The workers in the nurseries, the majority are there illegally. I believe that they bring their way of living from where they come from, their culture, and they don't respect animals like we do. I think the authorities left this and got out of control. I don't think that they follow up on what's going on. If we can't depend on the police, who do we depend on? Where's the protection? Where's the respect for our animals? We're going to get a lot of people stopping and talking to us. Okay, we're, moving. we're leaving. Stick with the church thing. Do not mention animals. Do not. I mean, I told them we're from the church. We're mission trip. We're church. 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 Suspect everybody. Does somebody live somebody here? Somebody owns the house. They have dogs, but they're never here. Yeah. The area don't is up, all don't family. These guys are all, I mean, cousins, in-laws, these are all family. You better believe that every one of them now knows we're here. And they're all packing. Don't be, don't mistake any of these guys for not wanting to take your life. They will in a heartbeat. You jump their fence, you're on their property, they can shoot you and they will. So with that said, we're gonna just drive down here and we're gonna start down this one road. We're gonna come back out and leave and go down this next road. One rescue group is under fire for taking a pregnant dog from gated property. That dog and the others that were with her do not appear to have been in need of rescue. Dogs are considered property in the state of Florida, um, and this certainly does have the potential to be um, a theft case. These didn't look like the type of dogs that needed rescue. 
Amy Rastucci, a licensed nail specialist from West Palm Beach, is the president of the organization behind the rescue. Rastucci has gained national attention through this Facebook page, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida, and was even featured in the National Enquirer as the woman who rescues pets from gators. My whole life, I've always loved animals, always, since I was a little girl. As I've gotten older, I love animals more than I love people. It takes an army to save one life, and that's what we have. We have an amazing army. The mother dog gave birth to healthy puppies. Both Rastucci and a vet who treated one of the puppies say they would have not survived being born in the streets. I'm not leaving an animal behind if it's in my reach. If I think I can bring it in, I'm bringing it in. And I walk around and I say, I'm broken, I'm broken. And I've realized a very dear friend of mine said something very smart to me. She said, you are not broken. It is the world that is broken. 